Hello everyone, welcome back to Lady T's Kitchen. Today on the menu, I'm making red beans and rice, comfort food. Here is the seasonings, allspice, cumin, I got some garlic, herbs, some jerk seasoning, black pepper, cayenne pepper, celery flakes, and some parsley as well. Here I have my smoked turkey wings that I've cut up rinsed and washed and now I'm going to sit that on the stove let that cook down so I can put into my beans later. I have my beans here in a pressure cooker. I'm going to set it for about 40 minutes and let that cook down a little bit and then next I have my rice that I rinse multiple times. Here I'm putting in some Kitchen bouillon, my better than kitchen bouillon, roasted chicken flavor into my rice for flavor. So here I'm also getting ready to prepare my chicken. I'm cutting it up in pieces here, taking out the backbone. And here you can save the backbone. Don't throw that out. Save that for stock or for some... Um, broth or something for later you can say that for another meal maybe chicken noodle soup who knows right now I cut my chicken into pieces so you see there's the leg there there's the breast the breast was a nice size so I therefore got about four of them out of there I ended up cutting them in half again and so I was able to stretch it my wing there so we're going to go ahead and season it I'm going to season this with my garlic herb seasoning and I have my what a jerk seasoning. This is a cute little name here. I got this seasoning from a place in Tennessee. It's called the Pepper Palace. If you're familiar with Tennessee and you've been there before, you may know this place. They're full with ooh, so many seasonings. They have so much you can't even choose. So I'm putting my Creole seasoning as well in there. This is my Adabo seasoning. I put just a little bit of that in there. Have my Cuban seasoning. Put a little bit of that. Cuban is pretty strong, so you don't want to go crazy with it, but it does have a lot of flavor, and it pairs well with chicken. So I put a little of that in there as well. I'm going to put some black pepper. Some of the seasoning already have pepper in it, so... You don't have to put as much of that in there. It's to your liking. This is also optional. Salt. You don't have to put salt in there at all because some of the seasoning also are salt-based seasoning. So they already have a little bit of that in there. Next, I'm going to go ahead and combine all those seasonings together. I'm going to mix that up. Um, embed that seasoning inside of the chicken. I'm putting a little bit of cayenne pepper in there for a little kick. Love spicy food, but it's not too spicy. Put in some olive oil so that seasoning can stick to the chicken. And I got some herbs, some parsley, and some cilantro. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put my celery flakes inside my beans here. I let that cook for a little, but I open it up so I can go ahead and season it and my parsley and I'm putting now some allspice in there so I can go ahead and make sure that those beans get a lot of flavor get enough flavor so here I'm showing you the seasons that I put in there and I'll go ahead and put them at the bottom of the screen so that's my herbs there. I put a little bit of fresh parsley and some cilantro inside of the beans as well. I'm chopping up my carrots, my bell pepper and onions, and I put some herbs in there, the parsley and cilantro. Look how beautiful that looks. So my smoked turkey is pretty much done but I'm going to go ahead and put that in the pot with the beans so that can combine together and you can get that smoky taste and that smoky smell here we go that's done right now so I'm just going to turn it on a little bit and let that cook a little longer my chicken just got out 
and it's ready to go. I'm ready for dinner. It smells so good. Look at it. Beautiful color. My rice is ready. And so we're done with our meal. Look at that. Comfort food at its best. Put that in a bowl. Rice, plate it up. And there we have it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you.